Hello everyone, uh, my name is Ilian and I work as a trader here at DM Trading Bulgaria. Uh, today I want to share with you one of my weekly trading plans. Uh, as usual, if you watched my previous videos, uh, we will start from the weekly time frame, go down to the daily time frame and finish on the H4 time frame where we will look for entries uh, throughout the week, which I will post uh, both on our Twitter page and our Telegram channel. Join it now from the link below this video. And uh, let's hope it all goes in our favor. So uh, this week we are going to look at the Euro Great British Pound currency pair. And uh, what you see on the screens now is the weekly time frame. First thing uh, you can notice here is that uh, the pair is in a range, uh, range trend from the 18th of like from 2017, so a very, very long, uh, almost a year long range. And uh, as you know, we are already in the summer months and uh, during the summer time, usually the markets tend to make um, a lot uh, smaller trends and uh, the volatility is a lot lower as well so I don't expect uh, this uh, range to be broken at least by the end of August. So first thing first as you can see I have already defined my weekly resistance and weekly support areas. Uh, those are basically the top and the bottom of the range. You can see that uh, the price reacted several times from this resistance actually this one here as well and like one or two times from the weekly support now at this point um, two weeks ago the price reached the top of the range the weekly resistance bounced from it we saw a downtrend uh, throughout last week and uh, so far this week it started with an uptrend but I believe the downtrend will uh, remain till the end of the week. Uh, if we turn on some indicators, for example, the 200 uh, moving average, you can see that it actually shows the pair is in an uptrend, but the, <clears throat> the line of the indicator is very, very uh, low over here. So, uh, the price still has uh, a lot of breathing room to move down and if we turn on the Ichimoku indicator we can see that currently we are exactly inside of the cloud but uh, range is being shown and uh, the cloud is turning red here so I expect uh, the downtrend to continue from here and the rate range to be intact. So that's uh, for the weekly time frame, we will look closely at these uh, levels, the top and the bottom of the range, and we'll see what we can extract. So let's go to the daily time frame, where you can see that here was the reaction from the top of the range, like it did here. And after a small move down for a few days, we're having sort of a correction. Now this, as you can see, I have defined two intraday levels. Those intraday levels uh, will stop H4 trends or even lower time frames. So those will be the intraday targets. Uh, if you are a day trader or like a swing trader, but uh, tends to keep your positions open just for two or three days. Uh, those will be the targets you should be looking for. Now, if you're a more long-term trader, you can wait for the price to reach the bottom of the range. Uh, but this will most likely happen in a month or maybe even more if it actually does. Uh, so here on the daily, you can see why I defined the first intraday level here. We had several, re several reactions from this level, also somewhere here. Uh, so I expect the H4 trend uh, to 
see some buying pressure when the price reaches here. Now the second is a little bit more uh, strange level because for example we had a reaction here, we had a reaction here but then as you can see just the price just moved in and out of the level a few times. So I have defined it, uh, we had a reaction over here as well and here and here I have defined it because uh, some of the times uh, the uh, H4 trends tend to stop there so uh, take a closer look at it as well. Uh, again indicators 200 moving average shows an uptrend and uh, currently the line is just below the intraday level 1 so I expect uh, the price to reach this level easily by the end of the week. Now the Ichimoku again uh, uh, the cloud is way below the intraday level 1 so yeah again that confirms that intraday level 1 as a target by the end of the week is uh, pretty what can, uh, how can I say it? The chances of the price reaching it are high. So let's go to the H4 and finish our plan. At this point here, as you can see after the reach, uh, let me just delete those. After the reach almost to that intraday level one, uh, we saw an uptrend on the H4. Uh, currently, I noticed this zone as a zone to watch and a zone that should not be broken by the H4 uh, movement. This is actually the previous top the price made here which was broken uh, and when the price was returning as you can see it stopped here for a while before breaking that top and now it retraced back to it so my expectations are for a wave down at least to the intraday level or maybe uh, to get further down to the bottom of it or to break it. Uh, we'll see what happens. I'll post, as I said, live signals uh, based on this plan on our Twitter page and our Telegram channel. Uh, join it. And uh, there we post a lot of other signals that we haven't shared a trading plan on them, but we take those trades. So don't miss out on the profits we make. Make it with us. And I wish you a profitable week and a pleasant trading sessions.